What's going on, my gilded brethren? See this effect right here? This uh, this glowing, transparent, just epic effect. Look at it. Yeah, it looks kind of like something from Judge Dredd. You ever seen Judge Dredd? I the, uh, I <laughs> nah, but look. This effect is what I'm about to show you in the, in the next couple moments. Well, it's, this is the longest tutorial I've yet. It, it's 20 minutes long, but don't fret though. Don't worry. Don't 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 let that time intimidate you. It's it's a very tedious effect. So you can skip through some parts, really. Like I wanted to edit it out, but I wanted to be there with you every step of the way. So I didn't. So you know I'm looking out. So don't worry. 20 minutes. Don't don't let that get to you. Look at that look at that motion blur. That's epic. But hey, look, let's get started. Go to file new. And this one we're gonna set it 1300. What is that two doing there? 1300 by 600 pixels. All right, click OK. All right, first we're gonna start off by coloring the background. Let me get the HTML code for this. This color is one two. It's one two. Zero six one two. It's a dark violet color. All right. Grab the paint bucket. Splash. There we go. Now we're gonna grab the uh the text tool, and I have mine set at uh Century Gothic. If you don't have it, you can download it easily. Type it into Google. Two hundred point anti aliasing mode strong, and we're gonna set the uh oh man I got the sneezes. I'm gonna set the text to uh oh excuse me to white. Oh man, I can't believe I got that on on, on audio. All right, and you can type out whatever you'd like. I'm gonna type out as always. My logo is name uh, Gilded App Five, and yeah, this is this is gonna take about two minutes. It's no big deal, no biggie. I'm going to show you a couple neat tricks during this tutorial that you can take on to other projects and improvise with and become a true designer. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh huh. All right. Yeah. Well, well, I'm typing in all this stuff. I bet, I bet you're doing the same thing. Thing. I wonder what you're typing. Why don't you in the comments let me know what you typed? In fact, in the comments, why don't you? Post a video response. Let me see what you did with this. If you did anything with if you, you which I'm pretty sure you did, it's a pretty simple effect. But oh, oh here we go. Alright, now you see how it's all jumbled. Alright, let me uh control click on G and then I want you to sh shift click and select all the layers. I'm gonna show you a neat trick. I'm gonna come up here to the top and we're gonna click on align bottom edges. Look at that, and then click on align top edges. Yeah, there we go. Now, control D to deselect the G. But all our stuff is nice and aligned. And now we're going to line up the letters. And don't worry if you get them off, off the align track because we can just fix it just like we did in the beginning later. Keep all the uh, layers separate. Because um, it's essential that you keep them all separate. And I'm going to show you why later. Oh yeah, just make them nice and tight, and have them overlapping. It's a must. These letters overlap. They must overlap, okay? They must. If they don't overlap. I'm going to be teed off. I'm going to be disappointed. I'm going to be mad at your graphic. But yeah, just keep keep aligning. Getting them overlapping, making them look nice and overlapped. It's no biggie, no biggie. Almost done. But the five I won't have overlapping just because it's, it would look crazy if it overlapped anything. I want you to do the same thing. Control, click on G, then click G, and select all the layers. Shift, click five. My align top edges. I'm about, oh, whoa, what was that? Oh, yeah, line top edges. All right, now Control D to deselect. Let's get the let's kind of center it. Yeah, there we go. 
Alright, now I want you to create a layer right above the last type layer. And grab the gradient tool. And I want the gradient to go from white to transparent, a linear gradient. Alright. Okay. Uh, no, not like that. Alright, hold shift, pull down. And I want yours to look exactly like mine. Exactly like mine. You see this? It has to look exactly like mine, the gradient. Ending right below the text. And now what I want you to do is control click on the G and click on layer one. With layer one selected, hit control C. Okay. Oh no, no, let's rename this first. Let's name it Create Gradient. Oh, oh. I don't want you to get the layers confused, I'm sorry. Effect layer. The the R doesn't work. But now, control click G with the layer with the effect layer selected, then control C and then control V to paste it. Let me show you what that looks like. You see that? We have a gradient letter. <gasps> it's magic. Gradient letter. <gasps> it's a ghost. G died. Oh my god, it's a ghost. And I want you to do that for all the letters. Okay, with the effect layer selected, control click. Then control C. Then click the layer. Click that layer and control V. And that's going to paste a gradient layer. With the effect layer selected. See that? Control click. Control C. Then click the layer above and control V. The effect layer selected. There we go. And do that for all of the letters. And the reason I'm clicking on the layer, the the like in succession, is because I don't want to get them mixed up. You know, it's easier for me. It might not be easier for you, but it's easier for me to just know what the letters are in order. So yeah, that's why I'm doing that. If you were wondering, yeah, Control V. Okay, Control. Click, select the effect layer, control C, then control V to paste. And this is mostly what this tutorial consists of is control clicking, control C, and uh, pasting. Oh, yeah, you see that? You see that? <gasps> it's a ghost. We killed it. We killed the, the logo. Oh my goodness. It's just. Oh my goodness. It's the shell of a, of a letter. But you can go ahead and delete all those. And we're left with the ghostly outline of it. And let's create a new layer. And we're going to do the same thing again. But with colors. Pastel colors. Make it real pastel-y. Uh-huh. You'll see why it adds to the neon effect. Grab the paint bucket in this new layer. This new layer, splash it. Bam. All right, now control click. And you see that? Don't worry. The the whole layer selected, even though the selection only shows the, the the crown being selected. So don't worry. We're gonna do the same thing. Control V. And watch this. S set the screen mode to uh screen. Watch this. Watch it. Bam. Hold G. Whole G was selected. I told you. I told you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. All right. Now we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna change the color of this layer. Change it to something else. Real pastel. -y. You know what I'm saying? Do it for the next letter. Splash it. Do it for the next layer. Little selection. Don't worry. Don't worry. Control C. Control V. Control C. Click on this layer, control V, paste that. Change the uh, layer blending mode to screen. There we go. We're we'll gonna do this throughout the whole for every letter. And you can double up on letter colors. You don't have to use different colors each time. Well, try to make it a a variety of colors. But if you have a very like Schwarzenegger, if your last name is Schwarzenegger and you're doing this uh tutorial and you want your name to look as epic as the first two graphics I showed you 
you go ahead and you 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 you're gonna have to double up. You're not going to, but if you want like the the boldest colors, you're gonna have to double up on the boldest colors. Which it's no problem. You can double up, and you you don't have to make them pastel if you don't if you don't want to. You can make them whatever color you'd like. Hey, they could all be the same color if you know save you the hassle. But yeah, just continue this pattern of changing the color layer, selecting, control clicking, control C, clicking the top layer, control V, then changing the blend mode to screen. And yeah, that's about it. Just do this over and over again. Splash. Control click, control V. Just a little selection, but it's still selected. That's all that counts. Control V, change blend mode to screen. We're on the roll. Just keep this up. Change the color again. Splash. Control click. It's selected. It's selected. Believe it. Control C, click up here. Control V, change the screen mode to screen, the blend mode to screen, and we're on the roll. Change the color once again. Splash. Control click. Oh yeah, it's selected. Control C. I didn't mean to lock that layer. All right, blend mode to screen. Unlock this layer. What in the world? Miss clipping, clicking. All right, our last one. Color will we make it? What color? Yes, green, green. Splash, splash. Yeah, it's oh man, I kept it purple. I thought, I thought I made it green. What in the world? All right, here we go. We have a nice looking. Alright, what we're gonna do? We're gonna delete that layer. And all our ghostly layers, starting at uh, all right, all right, yeah, the ghostly layers. Select the top, the first one. Shift click, select all of them, and then we're gonna merge all the ghostly layers. And all our pastelly layers, we're gonna merge those also. And don't forget to set the the blend mode to screen. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this glow effect. I know you remember it. The duplicate layer. This is our ghostly layer right here. Duplicate that. Alright. And then we're gonna go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I have mine set at uh eight point seven. If that's not desirable for you, you can play around with it, but mine is set at eight point seven. Like that. Now we're going to duplicate the pastel layer. We're going to add the same blur. Same 8.7 blur. <sighs> wow. It's glowing. Wow. That's amazing. Alright, now shift click and select all the layers. Pull it, pull it. Let's move it up a little bit because we're about to add the reflection. Uh huh. Add the reflection. What we're going to do is duplicate all these layers. Duplicate them. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. But uh, yeah, yeah, I did mean to do that. Grab the uh, eraser tool. We're gonna erase. We're gonna make this look like. Um, we're gonna make it a little more transparent, but just the bottom part though. Erase out a little bit of the bottom part. Getting ahead of myself. The bottom two color layers, and the Gaussian blur layers. Raise those out a little bit, just a little bit. Alright. Make it look a little better. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to select all the layers and duplicate them. Let's duplicate them. Alright. Go up, we're gonna make the reflection, edit, 
transform and flip horizontally. Let me, yeah, let's give a look at this. Let's look at what we're, what we're working with. And now transform again and rotate 180 degrees. There we go. Uh huh. And just like with the Gaussian blur, you can tweak this and modify it as you see as you see fit. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna start erasing this top part so we can make it make it look like it's just a reflection of of the um, bottom parts of the la of the uh, letters. We'll start erasing out the uh, tops. It's a little bit bigger. Erasing the top parts out. Oh, who cut off the lights? My goodness. Oh my god, that's blurry. My eyes are hurting. Ugh. I hate this part. I hate this part of the tutorial. Because it blinds me. That's why it blinds me. Okay, now we're going to start erasing stuff. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alrighty, and then I think I think um, I think that reflection that's a cool reflection. What you do now is to set your foreground color to white, and um, I want to make a line. This will make a quick line. We we we're, we're not done yet. You know what I'm saying? We're almost there. Move this line down above the uh, background. I'm gonna add a motion blur to it. Okay, a nice motion blur. And this set to two, two twenty-five. That's cool. It' okay. Look at that. That's beautiful. And and next, what I want you to do is um, click on the background and create a new layer. And grab the brush tool. Grab the brush tool. The brush tool. Yeah. And set it as a big soft brush tip. And I have mine set at seven hundred and sixty-four. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some dramatic lighting to this this effect. Watch this bow right in the middle. And I want you to set the blending mode to overlay. Overlay, overlay. There we go. Get that man, that's amazing. Let's duplicate that one time. Duplicate. Look at that. That's that's beautiful. Now hey, you can improve on my design. Hey, do whatever you'd like anything but if you do I must ask this that you post a video response showing me what you created I would love to see what I'm teaching you all and how you're utilizing the skills I'm spewing I'm spewing skills skills I'm spewing no nah, I'm just kidding but hey thank you all for watching comment subscribe and if you do create a video Make sure you post it in a response right down here below. Hey, as always, have a nice week.